Hi guys, it's Vizim again from netsco.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, Kotlin runtime and I will also show you how to run your Kotlin project online. I'm going to create new folder here for my Kotlin programs. Let's open this folder and in this folder, I'm going to open command window, press shift and then right click on your mouse, then click on this open command window here. Now let's open notepad and type our first program. Let's save this to our desktop Kotlin. Hello world and the extension for this file should be kt perfect let's compile this with kotlin compiler type space and then the file name that we want to compile press enter and it will compile this file perfect now let's run this file we will use kotlin runtime to run this file kotlin hello if you guys are java developer then you know that uh, when you compile your java file you will get class file with same name of your java file but here in this case we will get class file with our file name and kt at the end of this file so you should remember this uh, difference between java and kotlin press enter and we are successfully able to run our kotlin file there is another way to run this kotlin file we can also create jar file from this kotlin source file let me show you how we can do this again we will use kotlin compiler We will specify our source file and then we will type minus d option and then we'll specify the jar file that we want to create. Let's say hello world dot jar. If we run this command, you will notice that we are able to generate this jar file. If you guys are Java developer, you already know that to run this jar file, you can use Java minus jar space and then the jar file that you want to run. I'm going to press enter and you can see that we got this class definition found error. That's because Java runtime cannot run this jar file because to run Kotlin file, we can only use Kotlin runtime. So we can bundle our Kotlin runtime with this jar file. Let me show you how we can do this. We will use same command to compile our source file to our jar file. But we will also add an extra flag which will say include dash run time. And if we type this command again, now what will happen is this Kotlin compiler will include kotlin runtime in this jar file and when we will try to run this jar file using java then we will be able to run this jar file because in this jar file we have already bundled our runtime using kotlin compiler let's try to run this again and we are successfully able to run our jar file so this is how you guys can include kotlin runtime in jar file Let's clear our screen. Let's go back to our source code. If you guys are Java developer, then you already know that in Java we used to write class and then in that class we used to write our pain function. But that's not the case with our Kotlin program because at the backend Kotlin compiler generate that uh, class for us. Let me show you what I meant by this. So we already have this class file. Let me show you the bytecode of this class file 
and this is for java developers if you guys are not java developer then you guys can skip this to see the bytecode of this file we will type java p space minus c and then we need to type the this class file name which is hello world kt dot class press enter and here we can see that this class so this was the class that we were executing and all this code is generated for us as we already know that kotlin is very very simple language and it removes all boilerplate code for us so we used to write this class but in kotlin program there is no need for this and compiler will generate this for us now for those who cannot set up their development environment there is another way that you can follow to practice your programs in kotlin let's go to google and here type kotlin and you will get its official website click on this and from here you will see this link somewhere on this page try kotlin click on this link now here on this online id you guys can run your kotlin program this is best for those users who for some reason cannot use their computer and they really just want to learn kotlin language let's declare some variables here var name is equal to assume let's print this to run this click on this run button and make sure to select jvm click on run and we got our output here so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching